Did you know that every year there's over a trillion dollars lost due to cyber attacks? And in addition to that, Microsoft estimates that there is a shortage of about 3.5 million security professionals across the world. This is why in March 2021, Microsoft released four new security-focused certifications that allow IT professionals and security professionals to validate their skills, but also to skill up in what is probably one of today's most required skills. In this video, we will take a look at the four new certifications that Microsoft released, look at what each one of them covers, and look at which one is right for you. Before we go on the Microsoft Learn site, talk about the skills measured and all of that fun stuff, let's take a very high level overview at the four exams. The first one is the SC900, so the Microsoft Security, Compliance and Identity Fundamentals. This is a fundamentals level certification. And then we have three associate level certifications which are the SC200, Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, SC300, Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator, and SC400, Microsoft Information Protection Administrator. This is really interesting in the way that Microsoft actually built this portfolio because we have that fundamentals level exam which covers all of it, security, compliance, and then identity. And then you can really specialize in one of them. So the SC200 is to specialize on security. The 400 is for compliance or information protection. And then the SC300 really focuses on identity. So I really love the idea that the SC900 is that fundamentals which covers all the portfolio and then you can go on and specialize in one of them. But let's head over and check out the Microsoft Learn site and take a really a deeper look at each exam. Let's start with the fundamentals. And at the time of recording this course, they are all in beta. So they just got released. They're not finalized yet. I actually only did the SC900 beta. I did not take the other ones but I plan to do it in the future. So the SC900, once you pass this exam, you will be Microsoft Certified Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals. This certification is targeted to those looking to familiarize themselves with the fundamentals of security, compliance, and identity across cloud-based and related Microsoft services. And something that I find really nice with fundamentals exam, and it's really in the second paragraph here, this is a broad audience that may include business stakeholders, new or existing IT professionals, or students who have an interest in Microsoft security, compliance, and identity solutions. This is a big reason why I love the fundamental level certifications, is that this is a good to know or a good to have without being an IT professional, even as a business stakeholder, as a project manager, as a pre-sales specialist, being able to understand what each product does inside the Microsoft stack. And if a customer or a fellow colleague says, hey, we need protection against this kind of attack, simply knowing not exactly the how to configure a certain tool, but just knowing like, hey, Microsoft has this tool that can help you do that. Let's take a look at it. So it's not about knowing the PowerShell to enable certain things. It's not about knowing how many hours it takes 
after you configure a retention label or a sensitivity label until something gets applied. It's really about understanding what each Microsoft product does inside the portfolio. If we scroll in lower and we take a look at the skills measured, but let's really take a look at the full skills outline. This exam is really covering the full Microsoft Cloud security compliance and identity portfolio. So you will see a lot of product names in there, but something that is really interesting is the verb. You'll notice that all of the verbs for this exam are describe. So describe security methodologies, describe encryption, describe Microsoft's privacy principles. And if we really look at everything, and it's quite a long list, everything is described. It's not configure, it's not manage, it's not troubleshoot. You really need to just understand what each product does and what problems it solves. The first part, which is five to 10% of the exam, is the concept. So what is zero trust? What is defense in depth? What is encryption? What are Microsoft's privacy principles? What is the service trust portal? We then have our three main topics. So identity first, so you really need to know what is Active Directory? What is Azure Active Directory? You need to know authentication and authorization. You need to understand the concept of hybrid and synchronizing your users from on-prem to Azure AD and really knowing some of the capabilities of Azure Active Directory, such as self-service password reset, multi-factor authentication, Windows Hello for Business, conditional access, privileged identity management, and things like that. If we scroll lower, we then have the security part, which is, again, another big one, 30 to 35%. And a lot of the stuff here is for Azure, because remember, this is across the portfolio. So we're talking things such as network security groups or NSGs, Azure DDoS protection, Azure Firewall, Azure Bastion, uh, how Azure encrypts data, Azure Sentinel. But we, of course, have Microsoft 365 as well. And it really mixes Microsoft 365 stuff with Azure stuff. So it's not only about Microsoft 365 or Azure, it's across the portfolio. So really important for you to take a look at the skills measured in order to know all of the different things that you need to learn. However, the fact that everything is the describe verb, meaning you don't need to know how to configure them, but you need to know what they are and what business problem they solve. Microsoft offers a few learning packs for each section. So there's a ton of free material offered. And I'm sure as the exam goes live, there will be a lot more training out there from partners such as Pluralsight, for example, maybe even LinkedIn Learning and more. Our next exam is the SC200. So if you pass the SC200 exam, you will be Microsoft certified security operations analyst associate. So it's an associate level exam. And if we take a look at the description, the Microsoft security operations analyst collaborates with organizational stakeholders to secure information technology systems for the organization. Their goal is to reduce organizational risk by rapidly remediating active attacks in the environment, advising on improvements to threat protection practices, and referring violations of organizational policies to appropriate stakeholders. Let's take a look at the skills measured, which will really give us a lot better detail at what we need to know. So the first thing that we need to know is Microsoft 365 Defender. Really important, you see how the verb changed from describe to detect, investigate, respond, and remediate, assess, and recommend. So now you really need to know how to actually use and configure the tool for your organization. So we have manage, configure, respond, analyze. 
really a different set of verbs than the 900 exams we have looked at. So let's take a look again back. The first big pillar, 25 to 30 percent, is the Microsoft 365 Defender. We then have Azure Defender, another 25 to 30 percent. So you need to know everything about Azure Defender as well. And then a huge part of the exam, almost half of the exam, 40 to 45 percent is Azure Sentinel. So we went from just kind of knowing all of the Microsoft Cloud solutions at the base level in the SC900 to the SC200, where you only need to know three tools, but you need to know them really well. Azure Sentinel, Azure Defender, and Microsoft 365 Defender. So this is exam SC200. Again, this is a lot more difficult as it's an associate level exam. And you, again, you have a lot of free content on Microsoft Learn. And as those exams get out of beta, there will be paid more in-depth options out there on the market as well. Our third exam is the SC300, Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator, which if you pass, gives you the Microsoft Certified Identity and Access Administrator Associate. If we take a look at the description, the Microsoft Identity and Access Administrator designs, implements, and operates an organization's identity and access management system by using Azure Active Directory. They manage tasks such as providing secure authentication and authorization access to enterprise applications. If we take a look at what you need to know, skills measured, this is of course all about Azure Active Directory. So you need to know the ins and outs of that. We have a 25 to 30% implement an identity management solution. So really how to manage everything in Azure Active Directory. You then have the authentication and access management. Think at Azure multi-factor authentication. Think at passwordless and things like that. Windows Hello for Business, conditional access, Azure AD identity protection. You also need to know how to set up all of the different apps. So you have here plan, implement, and monitor the integration of enterprise apps for single sign-on. You need to know how to implement app registrations in Azure AD, as well as a lot of the other tools for a sane identity management, such as entitlement management, access reviews, privileged access, and of course, monitor and maintain Azure Active Directory. So really this exam, if Azure AD is all you do during your day, this exam is for you. Microsoft directly at launch gave us a ton of different learning packs to get us started for free, and there will be more options soon. The last one, is our Microsoft Information Protection Administrator, the SC400, which will make you a Information Protection Administrator Associate. This is for the compliance professionals out there, so compliance or information protection. And if we take a look at the description, the Information Protection Administrator plans and implements controls that meet organizational compliance needs. This person is responsible for translating requirements and compliance controls into the technical implementation, and they also assist organizational control owners to become and stay compliant. If we take a look at what is covered, only three main topics, information protection, data loss prevention, and information governance. If we take a look more in detail at what exact tools we're going to work with. First of all, create and manage sensitive information types. So you need to know what are the sensitive information types in your organization and be able to actually create those in Microsoft 365. Create and manage trainable classifiers, sensitivity labels for Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 groups, SharePoint. So lots of configuration there, and even plan and implement encryption for email messages. 
you then have a full third of the exam, 30 to 35% for everything data loss prevention for all of the Microsoft 365, as well as Microsoft Endpoint data loss prevention. So it's not only the collaboration part, you really need to know how to deploy that Endpoint DLP as well. Our last big topic is information governance. So your retention policies and labels and really data retention across all Microsoft 365. So SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, Exchange, all of it, and also records management. So again, very short list of things. However, you need to know how to configure everything compliance in Microsoft 365. This is it for the overview of the four exams. Now let's go back to the slides and take a look at some of the frequently asked questions. The first question, which I honestly asked myself as well, will those new certifications replace the MS 500 or AZ 500 certifications? The answer is no. And this is officially posted by Microsoft. I have a link in the description. But Microsoft said that at the moment, there is no plan to replace the AZ 500 and MS 500 certifications as well. There is some overlap and to be honest, a lot of overlap. The new SC portfolio doesn't cover everything that's in the AZ 500 and MS 500 exams. So if we take a look at the full Microsoft security compliance and identity portfolio, we have one fundamental exam and five different associate level exams. Microsoft has the AZ 500, MS 500, and the three new SC ones in there in the same portfolio. And there's no plan to retire the AZ and MS 500. The other question I get a lot, is there an expert level security certification? And unfortunately, again, not at the moment, if you're a security professional, really associate is the highest that you can go. But something that I have actually seen recently is that the SC300 is actually a valid prerequisite for the MS100 and 101 Microsoft 365 admin experts. So that could be a way forward for security professionals, but there is no expert level certification that really only focuses on security right now. Now, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you found it informative. If you have enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, so you stay up to date with all of the content I'm creating around certifications and the rest of Microsoft 365.